Hi guys, so I want to start off with my introvert life series. You know, being an introvert is usually looked at when people who don't like to, you know, socialize a lot and you know, I don't I'm not a social person <laughs> and I don't like people in my personal space because when there's a lot of people around it kinda is really draining really draining and especially you have to socialize and people are, are talking and asking questions and it's just like I almost feel like you just want to run and escape from all of it so anyway I was at work and it's I'm just getting to work okay I was just getting to work and you know I work in, in the south okay let me say that too because I work in the South, but I'm from, I was raised in the North, okay? There's a big difference between being up North and being in the South. And up North, we kind of do, you know, like the head nod thing, that kind of thing. We don't really just go up to people and hug. That's not our thing. So, like, um, you know, if you hug people, it's like people you really know, your people you see on the regular like but you close to like close friends of the family family people and for me personally it's only like my immediate family I'm just not that touchy-feely kind of person so this lady whom I recently met at the job because she is um I don't know so this person at the job that recently I guess started working there probably like within the last two months you know just always greets people like hugging and stuff like I'm not I don't like hugs like that like and especially when I first get to work you guys like when I first get to work I just want to see what it is what the day is like you know what's my assignment I'm, I'm ready to like kind of I'm trying to transition from home to work and then and then trying to figure out what's going on and what kind of day or night I'm about to have or what have you so I don't really want to be, you know, I can be nice, but invading my personal space and hugging all the time, I don't need that, you know? And so I like kind of, you know, person comes in to hug you, I'm like, okay, that's one, you know? And I'm like, I'm trying not to be, you know, evil, mean, or none of that. But then I'm kind of like get tired of it. So well, the other day I went to work and the person comes to hug so I like I move back you know like literally like without trying to really hide from them that I am pulling away like I am back <laughs> like get back move away from me and the person this person is, is an older a little bit older lady like I don't I don't you know I know that it's like people southern how they are southern hospitality or whatever it's just like older people like like hug you but i don't I, that's not me that's not my my giddy up i don't i don't like you know say hey what's up you know that's good enough for me like <laughs> i don't want anybody in my personal space so when i like pulled away i feel like you know maybe she was like okay like kind of like put off by it but at the same time are we supposed to you know compromise what we feel because somebody else feels another way so are you supposed to adjust who you are and your boundaries for somebody else because that's what they do and even though you don't like it you just take it and accept it is that I don't want to do that <laughs> so you know that whole the rest of the day she's not saying anything and she usually like talks several times a day so I'm like, I probably hurt her feelings, but I wasn't trying to hurt her feelings. I'm trying to protect myself and my boundaries, you know. So I wasn't trying to be mean. I just want to, her to know, like, I don't like that. I don't appreciate it. I don't want a hug. I'm not a hugger, and I don't. That's my personal space, my personal choice. So I just want, kind of wanted to bring that up. It's kind of more maybe a rant, but... At the same time, you should not have to compromise your beliefs and so forth. It's not trying to be mean, because I still be nice to her, but like I just don't want hugs. I don't want people touching me. For instance, there's another person, like, you know, people sometimes they talk with their hands a lot. And I don't know, as an introvert and a person who loves their personal space and 
you know, I'm just not that big on socializing, but I realize that I might be considered different because I don't like to socialize. And most of the time in the South, people are talking and laughing and, you know, I, I just want to be in the corner somewhere quiet. But, you know, so I try to be aware of that. But, um, yeah, some people, they just talk with their hands. And with their hands, they then they want to touch and like like touch your shoulder and everything. I really just don't get that. Like even when like when mothers are pregnant, like why people like just touch like without asking permission or you know not knowing you for a while enough to know if that's what you are comfortable with. And I remember when I was younger, somebody got mad at me for doing that because I touched their shoulder, and I thought they were like you know person I was cool with or something. But now I understand you don't really know the mood of the person. You don't know if that's what something that they're comfortable with. And you should not just invade people's space or just do something and you don't know them like that. So, I mean, I don't know if that's the thing in the South, but that was like, there's been several instances of this, like where people hug and touch and stuff. I can think of two other things where people have done this more so at work but like i don't know these people and one person um came on the floor the other day and they like like touched my shoulder or something told me like about well slow down do this or whatever you know and i'm like i was already frustrated like in a frustrated mode so then for you to touch me and i don't like to be like that anyway ah, i don't know like and maybe that's weird or something to people like you said, well, why not or, you know, whatever. But just think of things that you are not comfortable with. And if somebody just continues to do that, do you just allow that to happen? Or do you speak up and say something? Or what, I mean, how do you handle it? When people invade your personal space, your boundaries, so forth. And they may not be aware of that something that bothers you. Um... I think it was one sign with hugging is a person don't hug you back. <laughs> like they don't hug you back. They move away from you. Um, you know, and when people are talking, if people are constantly backing up when you're talking, something about that space, something is, you know, they're not comfortable with. There are signs. <laughs> people don't pick up on signs, I think. But yeah, yeah, you guys, I don't know. It was just like an experience and I thought about it in terms of being an introvert. You know, I don't understand, you know, a lot of the world probably is more extroverted. Maybe it's not as many introverts in the world as extroverts. I have no idea. But what I do know is that, you know, everybody's different. And maybe we have to vocalize that, you know, this doesn't make me comfortable. Um, I'm, you know, I don't want to be mean, but this doesn't make me comfortable please don't continue to do this, you know, uh, something, some kind of way to let people know that they're, they're invading your boundary, your personal space. Um, just with being an introvert, you just, you know, you try to stay off to yourself. Sometimes people, you know, I don't never understood this about, you know, other people asking me this, but sometimes they ask like, well, you know, Janique, why are you so quiet? Why are you so quiet? But I'd be like, you know, that is like one of the worst questions you can ask an introvert because some introverts are shy too. And, you know, just like in my mind is thinking, you know, I don't ask you why you are like you are. So why are you asking me why am I like I am? You know, everybody is not the same. Everybody, everybody is not going to be that way. But, and that's fine, but don't be mad at me for being me. Like, why do you ask me why I am the way that I am? You know, and I don't know. So, yeah. But I've been an introvert. I don't think I'm going to change being an introvert. I do think there are times where you do need to come out of your introverted shell in terms of business or if you're doing certain job functions or do have to do certain things that is, I don't know, certain things and ways of growth. You may have to try to uh, make yourself you know come out of your comfort zone sometimes and stuff but yes i think with personal space and boundaries that's probably not one of the ones that i want to come out of and definitely not with touching and you know my personal space i don't feel comfortable with that so yeah
but anyway guys i hope that if you have things that you really don't like for others to do to you and in your personal space maybe you would let them know that too but um because you shouldn't have to be uncomfortable you know to make somebody else comfortable um maybe that's that's other ways of that but when it's, it involves on your person or touching or you know in your personal space and it's not warranted it's not welcome or wanted by you then that becomes another issue all right guys that's my little rant for today uh i hope you guys have a great rest of your day